Hello everyone, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. I lowered my graphics settings a little bit, and tested it where we were before, and I hope that we will not have as much stuttering as we did before. At the very least, not in that area. And while I was testing, I went to the ship's log out of habit, and so I figure, let's, uh, let's show you what I found. <laughs> The new, more sensitive locator to know my built at this observatory was unable to detect any eye, any trace of the eye signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believe the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. The Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually by sending, excuse me, by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Most cyclones on giant steep rotate clockwise. There are cyclones that the Nomai use to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. So we're looking for counterclockwise ones then. Let's go and find ourselves a counterclockwise cyclone. Okay, so counterclockwise would be spinning to the right. That one looks like counterclockwise. Okay, excellent. Oh, that doesn't look pleasant. What happens if I... Oh, yeah, okay, that just completely shorted out my ship. I guess I'm not too surprised, but, uh, had to try it, you know. Worst that could happen is the loop resets, right? Um, it, come on. Come on. Why can't I? There we go. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what to do then. Oh, wait a sec. Okay. So the jellyfish can go through. Uh, does that help me? Can I, like, hitch a ride with the jellyfish? They look a little electric -y too. I I don't think I want to mess with that. I let's just come back. Let's investigate that later. I'm not really sure what to make of that at the moment. I think there were still more places to explore here on Giant Steep, though. Uh, didn't Gabro say he found four islands? He mentioned. Oh, this looks new. So his island, Statue Island. I, I guess the this place and the the Northern Observatory, maybe. Oops, nope. No. Okay, don't want to go that way then.
Or wait, was he counting the construction yard as one? So his island, statue island, construction yard, this island, and I guess it would make sense. Oops. Oh, nuts. It would make sense if he hadn't found the, uh, the Nomai Tower at the North Pole. That seems like something that would have been easily missed. You know, there's a giant friggin' wall of wind in the way. Alright, let's try this again, but with marginally less failure. So this place seems to be clear of ghost matter. That's a dead end, but maybe there's something... Oh! I got caught up on something! It's like a, a vine. Ah! Uh, I'm just gonna skip to when I pass that. Hopefully it won't be long. Okay. This way seems relatively clear. Oh! Jellyfish! Trip 4, entry number whatever, crashes 2, boring crashes 0. Remember to see Slate when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steve. You just got feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gosson about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems like all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Okay. So... Jellyfish. Uh, dramatic feat. Can't believe wasn't electrocuted. Brute force isn't the answer. This definitely seems to be saying it's something about the jellyfish. But it's not exactly clear what it is. I don't know. It was sinking the jellyfish was like sinking beneath the the electric -y thing right so maybe if you can like get inside the jellyfish oh dear oh okay that's not good we're in space um uh, where's my ship ship Come back. Please. I don't want to get smooshed. Okay. We're good? We're good. Okay. So it, it really seems to be saying that the jellyfish are the answer, right? So the jellyfish are the only things down there. We see the jellyfish go through the barrier. Feldspar mentions that brute force isn't the way about it. Next to frozen jellyfish. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can, like... I notice they don't seem to be electric-y all the way down. Maybe if we, like... We get below them? Oh! Oh, like its outer tentacles are electric -y, but maybe if I squish my way in here? Haha! <laughs> okay. Thank you, Feldspar. So I guess now we just wait for it to descend beneath the barrier. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip forward to when, when that happens, so I'll be back in a minute. 
Oh, actually, I think that's happening right now. Never mind. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> oh. Okay, I bet that was us passing through the barrier. It's still making a lot of very loud noises. Okay, it's gone quiet, so I bet we're good. Uh, okay. Very dark. I guess that's not surprising. It's a big, dark ball of electricity. What is what is this thing? What's going on here? Hard to say. It looks a bit like neurons, if you ask me. But, I don't know, maybe I'm just being a little weird about it. What with... What with everything we experienced with the stranger and all that, I just... Maybe I'm seeing weird brain stuff happening all over the place. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, what's happening now? Okay, I guess we're good. This is... where is this? Oh, this is the Ash Twin Project again. Okay. I have exciting news. Rivet, the Ashton Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Raimi is adding some finishing touches here, but he'll, she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? Uh, we are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm worried about how the cannon's structural integrity... Oh, wait. Did, did we already see this one? They were complaining about how this, the cannon might not hold up. What about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity? Its crew's moral integrity? It's a, what? Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. Its crew's moral integrity? What's up with that? Okay, I think this is another component back on the cannon. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. And you'll be the first... Oh, we've seen this one. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power it breaks. Uh, who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's integrity? I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving if the tracking module is destroyed. Right. And this is the tracking module, I think. Right? That's the one that fell down. There's the the launch. I don't remember what they are. But I, I'm pretty sure that this is what they were saying. Was exactly what they were afraid was going to happen is what happened. The, the pro tracking module was damaged. So... If that's the case, then they said the probe tracking module will be the first to know the, the coordinates to the eye of the universe, right? So, maybe they're here. Oh, that's Giant's Deep and the probe cannon. And it launched a probe. But the probe has not yet reached its maximum distance, I guess. Probably because its maximum distance it'll reach that at the end of the loop maybe Oop. receiving data from probe nine million three hundred and eighteen thousand and seventy eight visualizing current trajectory of nine million three hundred eighteen thousand seventy eight so it's already launched nine million probes interesting And these are showing a bunch of trajectories, I would imagine. Uh, 
Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched 9,318,078. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found by probe 9,318,054. Wait. Fifty four. So that was like twenty four launches ago. So not long ago, depending on how quickly these launches happen. Uh, retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. So, those are the coordinates to the eye of the universe. We'll see. I, I don't know how to read that. Ah. Uh, Okay, I guess that'll mean something at some point, but for now, apparently we have the coordinates, but I don't understand how to read those coordinates. Oh my goodness, stop! Cease! I can't, I can't move. Uh, okay. Alright. So, I guess we have the coordinates for the eye. I... I don't know what to do with them. But we have them. Oh, there goes a the jellyfish. I guess we gotta find another one. I'm gonna float around until I find one. So I'll be back in time at some point. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay. I think we just passed through the barrier. And I just gotta gently let myself out of the jellyfish. Okay. Let's check our ship's log, because I'm not really sure what to make of what we found there, exactly. I, I, how quickly do these launches happen? They mentioned that the probe cannon was set to too high a power level, right? Because the, the two that were in the probe cannon said, oh yeah, our friends on the surface accounted for the fact that we like to set things too, too high. And so they would have already accounted for that and told us a number too low so we can set it higher than that. And then I figured that meant that as soon as it would launch, it would explode. But... I don't know. Apparently, it's launched nine million times already. It does seem to explode at the start of every loop. So, maybe it's counting loops? Right? Because the Ash Twin Project, uh, you know, it also seems to be counting, like, it, that's where the statues link to. And so the statues link to us. And then to Gabbro and the Probe, maybe? Because there were three of them that were activated, right? So it would make sense if the Probe is transmitting to there. And maybe it... it I don't know. Let's keep finding... Let's see if we can keep finding more stuff. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. I passed through the electric barrier and reached the coral forest. 
at the planet's core. The orbital probe cannon has launched millions of probes. The 9,313,054th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The statue in the probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to the Dark Bramble. Feldspar headed off to the Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. When I launch my scout into the seed, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Hmm, okay. I guess we ought to figure out more, excuse me, about the Ash Twin Project. Um, I mentioned that the the chamber in the Ash Twin is sealed up tight, right? Like they said, it would only, it would trigger in the event of a failure in case there was a crack, and so if it failed, it would still trigger and let them know. Uh, well, I'm not really sure where to go from here, but we know there's more stuff on uh, Brittle Hollow, so if there's enough time, we ought to see if we can find anything there, but I don't know how much time we have left in the loop. What? What is that? Oh, that's an island. The interloper. Ah, uh, there. I know there's stuff there, but I think it might be a little late in the loop for that. That's Timber Hearth. That's Brittle Hollow. I don't know. We're pretty late in the loop. Uh, I guess we might as well see if there's anything to see on Brittle Hollow's moon. I don't like that trajectory. That looks like that's going to send me into the sun. Hollow's Lantern. If I remember rightly, it was called the Devil's Furnace in the Alpha. But uh, I guess they changed it. Goodbye, Quantum Moon. Yeah, it mentioned there was more stuff to learn. Like, Solanum was talking to, I think it was Bells was their name, uh, about a pilgrimage of some kind, and mentioned a Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So, Tower of Quantum Knowledge sounds like something I want to visit before I do anything with the Quantum Moon. Is there something in one of these craters, maybe? Oh dear. Not in that one. Alright, full spoilers. I know there's something in one of these craters. <laughs> I just don't remember which one. It's not like they're easily distinguished. And I want to see if we can get to it. Oh! That's not good. Uh, let's land our ship and fix that. Oh, don't fall into the lava, please. Okay, that should be good enough. So, starboard hull is damaged. Oh, that's the supernova music. Uh, let's see what we can get before that that takes us. Oops. Increased solar activity detected. Yeah, I noticed that. Increased volcanic activity detected. Location now in hospital. Evacuation recommended. Uh, great. 
That sucks. That's... Timber Hearth. Oh, that's the mine. Okay. Uh... Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, the last time before you send us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same type for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the out, out uh, the protective shell. The idea of an encasement with a supernova proof. How, did we read this one? Maybe we did when we were in the mine. We'll also have an updated estimate as to how much ore is needed to seal off the Ashton project. Will be more than initially thought. Will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Okay, so they sent ore from the mines to here, presumably to test its heat resistance. Uh, oh. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Hello. That's bright. That hurts. It's almost like it's a supernova or something. Okay. Uh, well, we found the coordinates to the eye of the universe and found out that apparently 9 million probes have been launched. Uh, so that's interesting. And I don't know. I guess we'll just have to keep exploring this Ash Twin project and Brittle Hollow and things of that nature and see what's going on. But uh, it will have to wait until the next episode, and so until then, I will see you later.